Hello everyone. Uh, we are in the concept of visible surface detection methods where uh, we already discussed like visible surface detection methods are broadly classified into two uh, image space method and object space method where object space method are completely applied on the object definition directly where image space method consider the projections of that object and those projections will be applied to uh, methods whatever we have and we have discussed some of the visible surface detection methods like uh, we have uh, discussed back phase detection method where this method is mainly used to find out the back phases and we can throw out those back phases and uh, what are surfaces we will get and by those on the surfaces we will be applying these visible surface detection methods. So we have already completed the discussion of uh, depth sorting method, um, scanner method, depth buffer method. These three things are over. So let's move on to our next concept that is about binary space partitioning tree method okay so let us see the next visible surface detection method is bsp tree method which is our fifth method so bsp tree method you can note down the expansion of bsp it is binary space partition bsp stands for binary space partition okay mainly this binary space partitioning method is used only when it, we are considering the objects in case of 3 right so each and every object consists of 3 value 3 coordinates x y and z so this method is mainly apply, applicable in those cases when the object viewing direction changes but the object location with the parameters and the vertices of that objects are fixed. Then you understood all of you? So what is the thing here? This method is mainly applicable in the case when the object view reference point, whatever we are, let us have one object, the object is fixed but the view reference point is changing. I am looking from this side, I am looking from that side, I am looking from that side. If the view reference point changes, then we can we have to consider this method that is binary space partitioning tree. In this method what happens is, that is not in that point, uh, it is mainly used when view reference point is changing only when the view reference point is changed. So in this method what we need to do is the complete objects whatever they are, we have, whatever all the surfaces we have, those surfaces is considered as one space and that space should be partitioned by using partitioning plates. Okay. Now after partitioning we need to find out what are all the objects which are front of that partitioning plate and what are behind that partitioning plate. So by using that data we need to draw one tree that tree is called as binary space partitioning tree. Remember whenever you are talking about binary, whenever you are saying binary for each and every node in the tree it consists of two nodes only, two branches only that is left branch and right branch because we are talking binary tree. Get it all of you? So let us see this one by using one example. What is the thing? Let us consider an example is like this. We have three objects let us consider. First object let us consider it is like this. Second object if it is like this let us consider and third object is like this. Okay? Now whenever this three object this is completely our space. Now I told you like in binary space partitioning method and the name itself it is saying like binary space partitioning. The whatever space we have, we need to partition this space by using partitioning plates. Let us consider first partitioning plane, plane P1. Okay. Now P1 we want to consider, I want to partition this complete space by using P1. If you observe this one, this is my partitioning plane P1. Now for P1, it will be dividing the objects into two. But if you consider this object, this, for this object is intersecting with your plane. In that case, it, we need to divide or we need to um, uh, divide this object into two parts such that let us call this part is A and this part is B. Right? And this uh, complete plane is dividing the objects into set of objects where let us consider A and C this object is front of your this projecting plane P1 and B and let us consider this is object D which is back of your what is that word? Project partitioning plane. So let us consider back. Now what happens? So for P1 object, for P1 projecting planes, it consists of uh, front objects A and B. For P1, 
A and A and C are front and B and D are back to this project uh, partitioning plane. Let us consider another partitioning plane. We uh, will be dividing this one. So let us consider another partitioning plane that is uh, how that will be. Let us consider like this you are dividing. Let us consider this is P2. Now for P2 this is front and this is back. So we are considering another partitioning uh, plane that is P2. So if you consider for P2 for P2, both A and B are front and C and D are back. So, A and B are front and C and D are back to this project. Okay, now once such time of partitioning finished, we need to draw the partition tree, binary tree we need to draw. So, if you are, when you want to draw a binary tree, in this case for binary tree, you need to consider the front and back nodes, getting all of you, and the vertices, what, and the last nodes, whatever you get, those nodes will find out, tell you about the objects, whatever objects you have. Okay, now let us draw the binary tree. As my initial root node, I want to consider B1, uh, sorry, not B1, I want to consider my partitioning plane P1 as my root node, so P1. Now, in case of P1, I told you like we should have two um, edges, what are the two edges? The left edge always tells about front object and the right edge always tells about back back object or all the objects back to the, the partitioning plane. So we will have a case of front and back. But if you observe we cannot write directly for P1 because we have another projective, uh, not projecting, we have another partitioning plane also. We need to consider P1 front in case of P2, P1 back in case of P2. Again for this we have two more options. What are they? Front, back. And for this one also we need to consider front and back. Right? Now we need to fill the, with this. What, are, what is that? If you consider front, P1 front and P2 front, what happens? P1 front is completely this one. So this one. P1 front is we are having A and C only. And P2 front. P2 front we are having A and B. What is the common object? We have a common object of A. Now, consider P1 front, P1 front means A and C and P2 back, what is that one? C. So, the common object will be C. Right? Now, coming to the other, other end that is P1 back and P2 front. P1 back is we have a P1 back, we have objects of B and D. Okay? And P2 front, P2 front is nothing but we, can observe, we are having an object of B. So, it is and what is the last one? P1 back and P2 back. P1 back and P2 back. The common object is B. So like this, you need to draw the binary tree after performing the partition. So you have you end up with such type of partitioning tree. If you observe this partitioning tree, you will see at the root uh, root nodes, uh, not, not root nodes, the terminating nodes will always specify the objects whatever you have. Now how to scan convert this one is, we need to process this binary tree by scan converting the back nodes first and then after convert, scan converting the back nodes first, we need to scan convert the front node first. In that way, the binary space partitioning should be, uh, tree should be processed. Right? This is how the binary space partitioning tree is, is done. Remember, special hardware is required to do such type of binary partitioning tree processing in some systems. We need, we need to have some special hardware. That is a drawback and that is mm, very costly. That, that's why people are not going for this binary space partitioning tree. Okay? So first, whenever objects are given, we need to partition that space by using project partitioning plane. And after partitioning, it is not like you have to use two only. Okay? You can go for three also. Right? After that, you need to uh, draw the tree and depending upon the leaf nodes, whatever you have, you need to process your um, binary tree. This is completely about binary space partitioning tree. Thank you.